Hello Hacienda La Puente, this is Ricardo, one of your tech tosas, and today I'm going to show you how to use similarity reports in Word. So similarity reports is very similar to Turnitin.com or even originality reports in Google. So I am in Office 365 right now and I'm going to go to Word. So similarity reports works on our Office 365 Word app. Okay, it does not work on the desktop version, but it does work on the online version. So I'm going to open a new document right here, and I'm going to be writing about natural disasters. Okay, so I'm um, just going to go to, maybe I'll go to Wikipedia. This looks good. Okay, I'm going to take that and I'm going to put it in here. Okay, and then maybe I'll go to a different site, and this looks good too. I'm going to take it and put it right here too. And now my paper is looking really good. Uh, I'm trying to make sure that everything looks the same. So I'm going to format or clear the format. So now everything looks exactly the same. Okay. And maybe I'm ready to submit my paper. Okay. But now our students uh, and also teachers have the ability to use the uh, new feature of similarity reports to check if anything was taken from the internet. The way you do it is um, you notice that on all the way to the right you have something called editor over here. You also can find that under review. If I went to review, it's right there too. So I'm going to click on it. This is the uh, new generation spell checker for Word. It does a lot more. In a different video, we cover um, everything that it does for you. Uh, but on the bottom, see, so notice that you got a 97% score. Obviously, you should get that, right? Because it was taken from the internet. But over here in the bottom, you have something called similarity reports. I'm going to click on it and notice what it's going to do. It's going to check. It's going to say, guess what? There's some stuff here, here that you didn't write, okay? I can come in here. It will tell me where it came from, the Homeland Security website that I use. And I have the ability to actually add text citation to this so I can click on it notice by default it's MLA I will show you how we can switch this later but I want to make sure that I add a proper citation for this so now I'm going to click on it and now you will see it turned green and it has added an MLA citation to this one right here and green tells you that you actually checked it let me go back to this one again I took this from somewhere right so I took it from Wikipedia I can add a citation but now maybe I want to use Chicago okay it's going to tell me that you're already using a different uh, type of citation style, but I'm just going to use it. Okay. Okay. And you can continue and notice that it's in there. Okay. So I'm going to continue. Okay. And uh, now I've added the correct citations. Okay. One more thing that I can do is I can select this whole text. If I go to it, notice that I can copy the full citation. Okay. And at the bottom of my... Um, paper, I can add a bibliography, okay, and now if I come down here and I have copy and I paste, you will notice that it actually adds the uh, source for that particular part of the paper. So it's very simple to use similarity reports, just wanted to make sure you knew. If you have any questions, please contact any of your tech tosas. Have a great day.